Hey, what's going on guys? It's Yangbang, and we're gonna do another VR fighting commentary video again, this time in Hellsplit Arena. What we did last time was jump into Blade and Sorcery, and I was trying out the survival mode for you guys, uh, showing you the system that it pops up new weapons, and uh, trying to provide some good combat for you guys. So as I was saying, this is Hellsplit Arena. Um, they don't really have like a survival mode like uh, Blade and Sorcery, but they do have just arena waves, and in this one, I'm gonna fight Dark Knight enemies for you guys using a longsword. So I'm gonna start the video now, and then continue the commentary with you guys as the video's playing. So we're in the arena called The Fort, which is uh, one of the newest ones that came out in one of their past updates. Uh, this is the roster of all their sword weapons that you can use. I was going to use the long sword, but <clears throat> excuse me, ended up using the bastard sword. Uh, it's got a little bit more kick because we are going to be fighting the Dark Knights, which is the toughest standard enemy that the uh, game has to offer. They're, they're, I like to call them like crabs, you know. They're they're mean, they hit hard, and they're covered in all armor, so you really got to crack them open. Uh, got that nice armor because they, they do pack a punch when they hit. So Dark Knights only, gonna do a short wave, but up to four. So it's actually gonna go from fighting one, to two, to three, to four. And here we go. Oh, and uh, I've already edited the video a little bit, so there's just gonna be the good bits that I could find, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. All right, that was kind of weird right there. Him and I kind of had a weird standoff. So a couple things, I like to really compare Hellsplit Arena to Blade and Sorcery. You check out the physics, the sword fighting mechanics, how the enemies behave when you hit them, and also how when they swing at you, how your weapons kind of interact. So a lot of the thrusting I do, it doesn't really do much damage to them. It's mostly just to poke at them, keep them coming. They are a little silly on their feet at times. They do fall a lot, but obviously not as much as in Blade and Sorcery, you, know, you just kind of tap them in the knee and they fall over. These guys, they respond really well. If you get them a good, strong hit on the head, they'll topple over. And there you go, that was the first guy down. Alright, so progressing on to two. I think in here is a good example of what happens when you block weapons. So there's one block. Right there. So, perfectly, perfect example, right? He swung, I block it, and instead of like an animation based parry system, it, it, you can feel the weight. Um, that one was a really terrible parry. I thought I hit his hands, but again, his momentum of his swing still followed through and ended up striking me. And that's one of the things I like about Hellsplit Arena. The enemies with their attacks, it feels, it feels more heavy. You actually have to block against things. Like one of my favorite things is hearing the, the metal on metal clash, and of course when they slide too. It just kind of gives you a sense that things are happening, they're more real. And of course, they're super strong armor, you, you, I'm just trying to crack them open. And if you think that their bodies are kind of funny as they wiggle around, so apparently these guys are like ghost enemies, like they're all hollowed out, so it's like, you know, Dark Knight ghosts that have embodied the armor. Nope. <laughs> you know, one of the issues with the game is that sometimes your the hands will just let go. I'm playing with the Vive controllers, uh, the index controllers, I'm sorry. And I don't know, the gripping mechanic sometimes just releases the weapons. It, it's, it's a bit buggy on that one. Hopefully they fix it. Alright, here we go. We're on to three enemies now. And one of them has a weapon that's infused with, uh, I, I guess it's ice damage. So if I hit it, I slow down. And, you know, one of the things that's kind of silly is that, if, even though there's more enemies on screen, <clears throat> they're a little goofy, and they kind of whack each other around a bit. So as much as I'm trying to do damage to them, as they kind of blob up, they <laughs> kind of do damage to themselves, as you can see there. Yep, and again, I, I dropped my sword. Right, try to dodge out of the way, swoop in, grab it, and I just realized that I could crouch if I go down on the the, uh, the joystick, and I was like, oh, didn't I could crouch before. Not that it helps too much, but 
one of those things. Their attack animations are much more... Um, uh, <laughs> for you guys, I, I'm constantly trying to keep my distance so I can keep this footage good, so later on I'm just like, ah! <laughs> uh, what else I was gonna say? Oh, their, their animations for their attacks, you know, like, it's, it's much more physics-based, right? When they swing those weapons, it's, it's, it's swinging around. And, uh, as far as animations go, sometimes they, sometimes they do swing really well in unison, where they're trying to all hit me at the same time. Occasionally they'll do like a real crazy wild spin and end up knocking each other down. But uh, you know, a few thrusts and a few overhand swings all at the same time, it, it, what I thought could be one block ends up turning to be like, you know, one block and two hits on me. So lots of movement, constant <laughs> back and forth. That guy just hit his friend again. Now, and then again, just right there, I was getting ready for a block, the other buddy came in real quick. So at this point, uh, I got hit, I think I've been hit like twice now, maybe three times. Screen's turning red, low on health, I'm like, alright, I gotta get rid of these guys. So here I am, I'm just going ham now. It's that left, right, back and forth swing. I gotta get to wave four for you guys. And there you go, alright, so, <laughs> sometimes I gotta go manic. Took an apple, and here it is, queuing the last four guys. We got an Ice Blade, Fire Blade, and just two normal dudes. So again, gotta get my distance. Things get, things get too hot, too fast. Ay -ay -ay. So, like I was saying for the, the, the three-man group, when they blob up, it's, it's literally just a blob of armor and four different weapons just flying at me at the same time. Uh, it's dangerous, it's hard, but again, they kind of do whack each other. That knight is blue right now because one of the other guys hit the other dude. I mean, there you go, he catches on fire because they keep hitting each other. So they're a little silly, and they do end up doing friendly damage to each other. Which is good on my end, but obviously now he's bursting a flames. If he touches me, I'm going to get damaged. Go, solid block. And this is the last wave now, so I'm going ham. I'm like, here we go, it's game time. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, so solid hit on me. Yeah, I'm trying to get some health again. Yeah. Now, in this game, I totally excuse healing because you can only get hit like two or three times, depending on your armor. I'm wearing the Templar armor right now, but even with that armor, like two hits and I'm flashing red, I'm gonna die. Blade and Sorcery, you know, you can hit like 10 times and it's like, still good. There you go, one guy down. I keep my distance. Ah, okay, I was getting too excited. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, oh, one more apple, okay. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, jeez. I was trying to be silly. Like, yeah, there you go, I'm like, ah, yeah. Hate that one, that's what I get. Yeah, normally they'll hit them on the ground. I like to give them a fair chance, but these guys are pretty tough. I get my butt with, and it's like, all right, got a close up shop. There we go. Boom. And that's it, guys. Alright, so uh, the last wave ended up kind of abruptly. I always kind of like to do a last little minute flourish for you guys. But that was commentary for some VR fighting in Hellsplit Arena. I think it's, uh, as far as VR combat goes, I think this game has much, much more to offer. Uh, there are certain uh, things that can be fixed in it. But I mean, a lot of the VR games right now for sword fighting are early access, so still developing, still updating. I'm excited for new stuff. Hellsplit Arena actually is due for a big update. Um, that's actually why I'm coming back to this game right now, because I'm so looking forward to what's new. Um, when it does come out, guys, you can expect ton more content on this game. Um, 
But until that time, I hope this one kind of satisfies you guys, gets you excited for the game. Maybe you guys should try it out. And yeah, I think I'll leave it there, guys. So I'm Yang Bang, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.